my name is Sawyer, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Darth Vader coaster out of plastic canvas. In your kit, you're going to receive a piece of plastic canvas, a piece of drawer liner, some white, gray, and black yarn, a plastic needle, a pattern uh, with the design that we're going to follow, and then not included in your kit, you will also need a pair of scissors. To get started, what you'll need to do is find the gray yarn. Um, we're just going to start with a smaller piece. You're not going to need a whole lot. Um, and then we're going to cut that real quick. To thread the needle, what you're going to do is you're going to pinch the tip of the yarn in between your um, first finger and then your fingernail on your thumb. And then you're just going to put it through the eye of the needle and then pull it through. You're going to want a little bit of a tail um, and I'll show you why in a little bit. To start the actual project, you're going to take your piece of plastic canvas and you're going to start in the upper right hand corner. Um, because the entire first row up here is gray, uh, we will be using the gray yarn. And I do want to notate that there are two different colors of gray stitches on this pattern. It's all the same color gray. It's just to kind of show the difference between like the actual Darth Vader helmet and then the background. Um, but it is all the same color gray. So we're going to start at this top corner and you're just going to put the needle through from the back and pull it through. You're going to leave a little bit of a tail. Um, and we'll tuck that in whenever we get to the second row um, underneath some stitches as well. And then you're going to go to the square diagonal from it and pull it through, just like that. And I'm going to do that for the entirety of the top row. It's coming from the back and then go back through on the front. And be sure to hold that tail down for the first couple of stitches just so that they get it they don't come loose. And then after the first couple of stitches, you can go ahead and let it go. And it shouldn't come undone. And I'll show you how to tuck that in in just a minute. I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way across the top row. Um, just to go ahead and show you how to tuck that in, I'm gonna go ahead and come back around. So in order to start the next row, you're just gonna start in the corner and come back through. I'm just keep doing diagonal stitches like that. And then to tuck this tail in right here, um, after I finish this stitch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that tail down again. And then I'm going to kind of pull it over to the side while I do this next stitch. And it should get caught underneath that stitch in the back. So I went ahead and filled in some of the gray so I can show you how to add new yarn um, and also how to count the stitches out for the pattern. Once you have some of this gray filled in, um, you're going to turn it over and then you're going to add the new yarn by placing the needle underneath the back of some of these stitches. I recommend at least three. And you're just going to pull it through just like that. And then whenever you flip it back over, you just have to hold it down a little bit for the first couple of stitches, kind of like what we did with this corner. And I do want to point out that this corner, if you do gray, when you do the gray all the way across, this one corner is going to be left empty. So now that we've done that, we're going to start counting stitches. I'm actually going to put this upside down at the top. You can see I counted out some stitches up here for the black. Um, so basically just what that means is that whenever you have multiple colors in the same row, you're going to count how many stitches you have before you change colors. So for the second row, we had 10 stitches of gray. And then we had to skip two stitches for black, one more stitch for gray, one more skip for black, one more stitch for gray, two skips for black, and then 10 more stitches of gray. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that black in. 
we're going to count out the black stitches for the next row um, and we're just going to leave the gray parts empty for now um, and we'll come back and do those later. So now that I've done that, we're going to put this back right around and as you can see on the pattern, um, it looks like for the next row we have a couple more on the edge. So it's actually one, two, three, four black, and then we skip one for gray, put another black in, skip one for gray, and then put one more black. So what we're gonna do is instead of starting here, we're gonna start here. Um, one extra stitch out, and then we're gonna put four black in. We're gonna skip one for that gray stitch right there. So we're not going to put anything here. We're going to skip that one. We're going to come here for the other black stitch. We're going to skip one more for the gray and then start here for the next four black stitches. And you're going to continue to do this all the way down the piece until you run out of black yarn and then you'll tie it off. So you just kind of continue counting stitches that way all the way down. Um, and then whenever you're done with this piece of yarn, once, once you can't put the needle through anymore, um, that's whenever you tie off the yarn. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very similar to what we did here whenever we added new yarn. Um, just all you're going to do is you're going to pull it through a couple of stitches, again, two or three. Just kind of anchor it and then pull it through. And if it comes unthreaded for that, that's okay. I uh, just pull it through and then you'll cut off the excess. So the back should look something like that whenever you're finishing up with that yarn strand. And now once you have completely finished the coaster, it should look something like this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to attach the piece of drawer liner to the back. And if you did any of the Pokemon coasters with us, I promise you, since this is a square, it is 10 times easier now. So what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of line it up, make it as even as you can. I'm going to thread some black through your needle, and then you're going to find one of these holes in the drawer liner in the very back, and you're just going to put that needle through the drawer liner and through the corner of the canvas, like you're creating a new stitch. Before you do that, you need to attach the yarn to the coaster. So we're going to do that real quick. Um, so that we don't accidentally unravel any of our work afterwards. So we're going to pull that needle through. And now you're going to do that. Um, just kind of line those corners up and just kind of pinch around where that tail is so that it doesn't come undone. Now what you're going to do, instead of creating several individual stitches, we're just going to go over four squares. So this is square number one that we just went through. So that's two, three, and four. And then we're going to go down and then put it through one of the holes in the drawer liner all the way back through. And you're just going to do it in intervals of four all the way across. It's a lot easier than doing each individual one, and it still pulls the drawer liner on there solidly. So, you don't have to attach the drawer liner if you don't want to. It just kind of keeps it from sliding um, whenever you're using the coaster. Um, it doesn't slide all that much anyway um, without the drawer liner either, but the drawer liner is just an extra mount slip measure for whenever you're using it to hold your drinks or soup bowl or whatever you want to put on it. And because of the measurements of the coaster, or should land us evenly in that corner. And the last one. And then we'll look something like that all the way around the border of the coaster. Now, you'll do the same thing once you're done with this piece of yarn that you have done the entire time. It'll be a little bit more difficult once this is all laid down, but just what you'll do is you'll go underneath the plastic canvas, find a couple of stitches, anchor it, you're just going to have to 
kind of guesstimate a little bit on where some stitches are that you can anchor it to. Uh, I'm gonna try it right here. Just anchor it to a couple of stitches, pull it back up through the drawer liner, just like that. And pull it through and cut off the excess. And there should be enough space, if you don't want that tail sticking out, that you can just kind of either use the needle or the scissors and just kind of hide that tail underneath it. And then you're done. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages for more fun programming activities.